We have a little short presentation, but uh, also a really important presentation. I do think so. It is about uh, nightlife in Tokyo, especially in a in a neighborhood. A warm welcome uh, for our Japanese guest over here. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm Zebra. I'm a rapper from Tokyo, and I know you'd be like, "What the hell is this Japanese rapper?" doing out here, is he gonna perform, is he gonna rap in Japanese with that <laughs> Nah, I'm not here for that. Um, I'm here to tell, uh, I'm here to uh, represent Shibuya, Tokyo. Shibuya is one of the uh, most influential town in uh, Tokyo where they have uh, hundreds of bars and clubs and restaurants and of course in the daytime they have a lot of closing stores and so that's why like uh, a lot of younger generation will be uh, gathering around in a town for almost over 50 years. I'm going to tell you a little story about how I became night ambassador of Shibuya, the dancing after midnight. It's been banned almost over 65 years. You can, we have a lot of clubs, but it's been, it's been running illegally. And we found uh, 150,000 signature all over from Japan, DJs and artists. Uh, we got around, we got around as a club and club culture conference. We have learned a lot from uh, bearing club commissions and of course from Merrick and this uh, club, uh, the Nightmare Day. And the government, government made a parliamental uh, group get up on the TV and a lot of promotions and that made this uh, topic really hot in Japan. Last year, we have to change it, and this coming June 23rd. Uh, it's a limited place, but still, we could open till 5 o'clock in the morning. So, I want you guys to come right there with us. And of course, uh, to my man uh, Saito, his uh, lawyer, his, his the one that was right there in the middle of, uh, between a government and a closing. And I was the only uh, PR guy or the translator from, um, you know, those uh, club users to those uh, government. And just like Mary told, I have to wear suits and, uh, you know, shiny shoes like this and not wearing a New Era cap. We even did, uh, we even did a, a cleaning up around the uh, club area, artists and veteran DJs get around and we pick up those cigarette buds and all around uh, in Shibuya that made a politician think that we are pretty responsible for what we are. You know, it's just step by step what we're trying to uh, work for and of course, I'm just a night ambassador right now because of Tokyo City itself don't have a, a nightmare uh, system yet but this time I'm here because of we're trying to come up with a nightmare maybe next year in Tokyo. And of course, this is Play Cool. This is the campaign that we're doing with uh, a lot of uh, DJs. That, that's the DJ right there. He's a techno DJ, Q. Hey. And a lot of them uh, influential artists and DJs are getting down with this Play Cool campaign. And the Shibuya town itself wants to expose this, uh, expose this uh, play cool campaign too. You know, it's just like, we want to play, well let's play cool. If you go outside, you can party loud in club, or if you go outside, you just go play cool. And, you know, you can uh, maybe make a mess in the club, but when you go outside, you don't, you don't throw away your trash, you gotta play cool. So that's, that's what uh, the campaign is. And I hope, um, just like I said, from this June 23rd, uh, a lot of them clubs in Japan is going to be legally open until 5 o'clock. We have an Olympics on 2022. So um, I hope you guys can come to Japan and um, have fun. <laughs> right? <laughs> Thanks a lot. Well, if someone still have a question uh, for Zero. How many, how many organizations you have brought together at the moment from Tokyo? We have uh, two organizations in Tokyo. 
which is one of the one of the organization is uh, the maybe like a big venue clubs, and one organization is for the smaller like DJ bars and stuff. And um, we all also have uh, another organization over there in Osaka, which is uh, west part of Japan. And there's another one over there in Kyushu, that's, that's the south part of Japan. So um, we try to uh, make it like uh, nationwide. Everything in the last two years? Yeah. It's because of you guys mm -hmm. came to Japan <laughs> and showed us how to do it. You're, you're quick. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>